Egypt's southeastern desert has become a well-known location for its content of precious metals, particularly gold. Young Egyptians are penetrating the desert to manually search for these treasures. Here's CCTV's Adel Mahruki with more details. Every month in the poor suburbs of Egypt's Aswan city, some youth begin their journey. Far from civilization, where the heat of the south peaks, work commences. They are searching for gold. I used to be a diver in the Red Sea, but when most tourist activities stopped with the revolution, I looked for a different way to earn money. One of my friends suggested that we would buy this detector and hunt for gold. I got a loan and did exactly that. As quiet as they could be, they wait and get happy to hear one ugly tone. They dig, and the hope of getting rich surrounds the scene. But if the screen gives a number from 20 to 40, it's nothing precious. This gold is here from ancient times, where the pharaohs had mines and made the king's gold. Some of it fell from carriages. This is what we are searching for, just raw gold. The machine only detects 60 to 70 centimeters under the ground, so it's not the country's reserve. Many Bedouins of Egypt's eastern desert who search for gold were chased by the authorities. In Egypt, gold search is against the law. They think we make a lot of money. Sometimes I would stay 45 days and come back with nothing. Plus, camping in the desert is expensive. We get two 4 by 4s with supplies and fuel, and others would not go through this mess. They would deal drugs or steal, especially in these days where there is absence of security. We have many resources in the days that the country could use. So instead of running after loans, if the country makes it legal, all would win. The country would get this gold from citizens and we could sell it with higher prices instead of being forced to sell it in the black market. In Sudan, the government did this and people brought tons of gold. In Egypt, the got companies who said that it is not worth an establishment. For people like us, it is. A basic metal detector could be bought at 1,000 US dollars. With the current gold prices, to break even, one would need to find only 21 grams. That is beside other precious metals that could be found during the search. It sounds tempting and doable, particularly among the stories people spread about those who found kilos. Instead of turning to illegal activities like dealing drugs or theft, some unemployed Egyptians have turned to massive unused spaces in the desert digging for gold. They're not asking the government to provide them with jobs. Instead, they're asking to legalize their position and they will find their own income. Adel Mahrui, CCTV, Aswan.